What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Today my Scream 6 in this video here in the game. As you see here on your screen, yes, we have been unearthed with a audition tape for Scream 6. Now, I managed to come across this audition tape for an actor named Simeon Days. I know for the longest time, for like a week or at least, there is a rumor about a all-American actor, as you see here on your screen. This would be him auditioning for Scream 6, and it is true. It's real. This is for the character of Derek that's apparently going to be in the movie. Now, in the uh film or in the audition tape and i'll leave a link to it in the description he is talking about a fact that he is a actor he seems to be a failed actor struggling with that also working at a bar i guess waiting to get a role that he hopes to land and he's chatting up this woman named carla now that's another character name that's talked about in the audition tape she mentions that she doesn't go to school or do anything like that but she has a brother who goes to school over there or goes to college i guess now my thing is is carla actually a new character or is carla a code name for sam carpenter and is derek of course a code name in reference to Derek from Scream 2 and his name isn't going to be Derek because what could happen in the film is that sh this line my brother goes to college can be my sister goes to college and this is just Sam having issues with coming along with a man who's trying to get invested in her so she's kind of on the on the fence with uh, dating these days uh, specifically dating men I guess now the other thing here is I think in the tape you hear somebody saying Carla come here now, if this indeed is a code for Sam, that might be Christina calling for her. So this is a little fun audition tape that I saw. I'm not able, I didn't, I wasn't able to come across anything else. I, I'm at this point while I'm recording, my phone is still being blown up because of the people who um, know that I found it. So shout out to everyone who's DMing me right now. So I appreciate all of you and I hope you watch this video and I hope you enjoyed the audition tape. So Derek seems like it's a character name. I just don't think that the, the name in the movie, of course, will end up being Derek as much as it will be someone else and he will be a actor that's struggling working at a bar he will be flirting with Sam Carpenter trying to date her and Sam will be reluctant to give him a chance but it does seem like their interaction shows that there's interest there on her end maybe so we'll see how that goes now for anyone who's doubting that he got the role someone actually sent me a screen grab or that he auditioned for the movie I meant to say because I don't I don't know if he actually got the part if you're doubting that he didn't actually do this and this isn't for Scream 6 I like you I like you to also uh, go to his Instagram page in the description and you'll notice that the talent agency is the same one that he posted on his story not so recently saying that he is being represented by them or that he's in he's working with them now also someone reached out to me because they dm'd him and asked him about the audition tape and asked if he auditioned for scream six his response was yes so if you would like a proof of that screenshot you can dm me on twitter or instagram i don't care which one um and again shout out to everyone that's still currently blowing my phone up and you know it just seems like this is sam it seems like sam is a little bit wary about dating might be someone she's attracted to but she's still recovering from richie because you don't know how how far after screen five this is but it might be very recent in, in relation to its uh time gap in between five and six because tara and sam tara chad and mindy i meant to say they seem like they're in their senior year junior year of high school so this could be a year later two years later and that's not too far off from everything she just went through with a killer who was essentially dating her to live out some sick fantasy of his along with a friend of tara's so we don't know how that's affecting her but Again, this was a nice audition tape to come across because I know I saw people talking about how an all-American actor was auditioning for Scream 6, but no one was able to find anything. Well, I found it. I found something for us all to enjoy, and hopefully we'll get something else tonight at this award show that's being hosted, like the Chainsaw Awards from Shudder. Radio Silence is supposed to be one of the guests on the show, so I hope that maybe we get something there, but mostly from this audition tape what i gathered is that we'll have a character who is either going to be named derek or this isn't their actual name and it's cold in reference to scream 2's derek to hide their name just like how they had people saying john blackmore to hide billy loomis in the script this could be someone else but at least we know that they'll have a role in acting they're struggling to find roles, I guess, and they work bars while they're waiting to land a, a breakout hit, I guess. And they seem to be flirting with a woman named 
Carla, who could be a code for Sam, who then is also saying that her brother goes to university over there, but that brother might actually just be Tara Carpenter, and that'll be revealed in the actual movie itself. And the other thing is, with this tape being out here, I think that this, of course, this is usually some of the signs like with screen five we're very close to getting more news that's just usually what happens everything is following a pattern and this pattern is being followed very closely i feel like in relation to how screen five and all the details came out about it one after the next of course the audition tapes came out sooner than the actual cast but we had character names they were like they were at one point sam was thought to be sarah so then we found out it was actually sam and then we found out some other things about the cast you know the whole everybody got unlocked with nev campbell when she got announced so it seems like hopefully we'll get more this week i know we already know that kirby will be back we know that uh all of the survivors from Scream 5 are going to be back and joining with Kirby and hopefully we'll get confirmation that Sydney Prescott and Gail Weathers will be back sooner than later. I know Gail recently did have an interview where she talked about the fact that Scream 6 does have a good script. So we'll see if indeed she actually has signed on for the movie because she didn't outright come out and say she signed on. But it's like two out of three for you to be confirming that you're back. So I know all of you are just waiting to see what happens and hopefully this will be a very uh survivor focused movie that allows them to flesh out the survivors a bit more related to chad and mindy and also just a good way for us to catch up with kirby find out what she's been up to and also i just need to throw this out there maybe this person in the video that's saying their carla is kirby and this is kirby talking to a character named Derek, and she's reluctant to say that uh or she's reluctant about giving him a chance. And I've seen people toss around, well, what if they introduce a sibling for Kirby? I've seen people say Florence Pugh should play a Kirby character. So, I mean, or like a sister to Kirby. This could be Kirby. I just think it's Sam. I think it's cold for Sam. Or Carla could be a woman we're going to meet in Scream 6. But we'll find out soon enough. Uh, again, I'll leave a link to the audition tape down in the description. I'll leave a link to the actor who auditioned his Instagram in the description as well. If you guys would like to read up on all that, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.